in the hell is this kid doing? Oh, hello. What How's are you doing? I was practicing my donuts. Those didn't look very spicy. What can you say? Either way, besides the point, today is the day, the official first ever car on our own dyno. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna show you around the dyno a little bit. We're gonna show you the process of putting the car on the dyno. We're gonna kind of run through it all, but uh, you guys should stick around because it'll be great. Dave, show them the vehicle that we're gonna be doing. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, 2003 Nissan. Oh yeah. She's a ripper. Certified ripper. I think this car will make lots of pizza toppings. Piston rings and pizza toppings. I'm off to see my princess. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Here we are. Let's run through it quick. Simple things. It's a four wheel drive dyno. Can you see me good? Is the lighting okay? Yeah, we got it. We're good? Okay. So this is a dyno jet, four wheel drive. What is it? A 424 LX C2, I think. Close enough, 424X. It's yeah, close enough. <laughs> Basically, two wheel drive. So there's two rollers. So you can do all wheel drive cars. You can do rear wheel drive cars, front wheel drive cars, whatever it is, you can do it. Um, we have the Eddy brakes, which is a magnetic centrifugal braking system to help you better tune the vehicle for varying amounts of load, etc. Basic. Over here underneath this cover is, it's called the Lynx system. And basically what it is, is it's the belt that goes in between the two rollers and connects them together, AKA linksing them together. Ooh. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. Um, so basically what we're going to do today, since that 350Z that we're going to be dynoing is rear wheel drive, the rear wheels are going to be perfectly centered basically on this rear roller, um, wheel chocks in the front, and then we have these D-rings mounted to the floor, up or back here and up there we have a couple, so we have to strap the car kind of from the front we do two, or two to four straps and from the back we do four to six straps depending on the car, depending on the power level. But yeah, other than that, that's the basic kind of setup. We'll show you guys all the computer stuff once we get the car on the dyno, so let's do that right now. All right, you guys, so right now, we're getting in the uh, in the 350Z. We're gonna do a cold start. It's been sitting here all night. 350Z cold start, baby, woo! I think I need to heat the tires up before we go on the dyno. Hi, Dave! Hi! Woo! Let's get it, baby! Let's get it! Woo! Yeah! Vlogging and driving! Let's get it! Woo! How does that feel, David? Ooh, that's scary. So scary. Whoa, it's like vlogception, dude. You're videotaping me, videotaping you, videotaping me. Whoa. So we just got all the, uh, we pulled the car in and we got all the straps hooked up. As you guys can see, like we were talking about before, 
Um, normally you do maybe four-ish in the back. So we just have one, two, three, four, two on the left, two on the right, just to hold the car in place, a little side to side tension, just so it doesn't wiggle around in the back at all. Dave's getting all the electronic stuff hooked up. And then we got the two in the front, along with the two fans. Uh, we might grab another thir a third fan just to cool the car down a little bit more, but we got two straps just pulling on the wheels, so we should be good. So right now, Dave is getting in the car, preparing all of the, um, what would you call it, software and stuff that goes along with the DinoJets system. So basically, I'm gonna explain what, kind of what hooks up to the car while Dave's trying to get the software already. Basically, all these wires come out of the dyno and they're all measurement wires, they're all power cables, whatever. Some of it gets plugged in, all the data cables and stuff go into this thing. This is called the stack. So from here you have a couple data cables. Right now it's very basic. We don't have a lot of measurement tools, you know, hooked up and ready because, you know, we are kind of like, this is just the test run. This is our first one ever to see and make sure that the car can run. So we have two cables basically. We have the go button, which is the dyno controller, which does page up, page down on Dave's screen, as well as brakes on, brakes off. And it also kind of goes through the entire DinoJet software and Dave can just go through it. Um, the second wire coming in here, you can see it is plugged into Dave's computer. So basically Dave is now, instead of normally you would see it up on like a TV screen, but we don't have that and we're not tuning this car at all. So Dave's using his computer as kind of the TV screen or the thing that's gonna have the graph on it in the end. Also, we have a ground wire strung in here and that's just hooked onto the metal of the car just to ground the car so we have no electrical problems or anything like that during the runs. Uh, so I'm gonna do the slow roll. Yep. Do you wanna put the fans on low? Yeah, I can. No, no stand on back so it's loud. What'd you say? Fine, I'll put, put on, on my all the bears. Yeah, we can. Oh, you can't? Too loud? Well, I no, it's, it's dangerous, Sid. It's dangerous. So you're just gonna do a slow roll then. Center to the moon. Looking in there? Hmm. Look good looking? Look at that Zero empty graph. Yeah. Look at that empty graph. Yeah. Oh, that's not supposed to happen? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. How much horsepower do we make? That was 148. Woo! Woo! I mean, you want me to turn the fans up, or how are you doing? How are you doing on? We're good right now. I'll just turn them up to two. These are our in-house. Sid, where are you? Right here. Oh, wait a minute. What do you think the number is going to be for horsepower? Look at Sid. Look at he's like thinking really hard. He's like. Yeah, he's like <laughs> He's like, he's like, 15, would that be? That's crazy. What did you say it was? 350? No, that's too much. That's, yeah, that's like two, that's like two, I bet you it's like two, 23. I bet you that's what that was, 223. Oh, That is really loud. 
That is really loud. I got that one. That is, that is so loud. Yeah, but still, dude. I know it. Well, it's because it's because it. It's getting. I think it's getting quiet. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Woo! What is it? You feel it? You like it, dude? Okay. 240. 240. 240. 275. Oh, 275. Oh, what? I don't look at all. What was it? 230. It's 240.32. You weren't that close, dude. Oh, yeah. Wait. That was, that was crazy loud, man. Oh yeah, that was third gear, not fourth. I was standing in here like this, dude. I was literally like. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. I've never, I can see why people are a little sketched out by standing in the room when they do that. I, uh, I forgot to put my headphones on, so it was really fucking loud for me. Oh, yeah. I believe it. That was sick. You like you, you jittered up, dude. You know, for first time on some <laughs> shit I put together. <laughs> hey George, you have a nice weekend there, bud. You have a yeah. I was breathing hard, my chest was tight, I was like <laughs> I was like, this could be the moment I die. <laughs> dude, when you like we well, were standing out here and literally like I was standing back here and these guys were all standing like off to the side over here and I was standing like back like straight here cool. and I was like, I was like, holy, and these guys are just standing there just like, is it, is it working yet? Is it working? And I'm like, and I'm like, that's so loud and he's like, oh, the pops are cool, dude. So we just got done with the dyno session, with the dyno session. We just got done doing the two poles with the uh, the 350, and uh, it went good. You guys saw that. Um, now, I have another car that you, that's new to you guys. This is my 2013 uh, Scion FRS. Technically, technically Scion FRS drift car. Um, it's basic, stock block, single turbo, runs e, you know 85, has a cage in it. Um, it's stripped out completely right now, other than the steering rack and everything. So I'm actually on my way right now to bring it to my fabricator. And what he's gonna do is make us um, a better dash bar that holds up the steering rack. Originally this car just had the stock seats in here. So I have a racing seat for this side and that side like a big bucket seat. So I need this cage to be moved back. So we, are, we have the car loaded up, connected to the truck and uh, he's just down the road. So we're gonna jump down there and deliver the car to him and then we're gonna come back and hopefully Dave might have another car on the dyno for us to uh, see some more runs with. 2,000 years later. You! Are we running it? Are we running it right now? Yeah, we're gonna run it, man. Yeah, dude, I show up and we're running it right away. Dude, it's already leaking out of the radiator. Ha! Honda boy. Hey, hey. Did you get the torque working? I did. How much torque did the 350 make? 211 and then 213. Jeez. Not, not bad. bad. Yeah, not, not bad. bad. Nice. That's cool. How many more wrenches do with it? Uh, I did two or three. Now that we're doing a front wheel drive car, we have two straps in the rear, two or four straps in the front to kind of hold the front of the car from moving side to side rather than, right, because the back wheels aren't spinning, the front wheels are spinning now. So it's a little bit different of a strapping situation. Feet of torque. Six thousand. Woo! Holy shit! <laughs> Get her going. One hundred eleven horsepower. There's no way. Is that too much? Yeah, it's a lot. 
Yeah, but it's a hundred. I mean, that's not that. Okay, it's a lot. You have to rephrase that. It's a lot for a Honda, maybe, but 111 horsepower is not. It's not that much, Dave. For a single cam Honda, wow. But it's got all the fancy parts on it, you know. Like I did street tune it, I guess, and it hasn't blown up yet. Right. I'm happy. Are you gonna change the RPM pickup? Yeah. Because right. I want to see a torque number. How much did that one make? 111 and 96 pound feet. 111 horsepower, 90, 112. It made 112, didn't it? Yeah, 112. 96 pound feet at the town. Oh my god, I can't even talk. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more and then this car is done. It's getting an engine swap. Engine swap, here we come, baby! Yeah, dude, 0.10 horsepower more, 0 0.20, 0 0.2, oh. All right, we're done with this one. We're done. <laughs> we're done. 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 We're done.